Okay, so on to the next skip the line. This is Bishop Briggs. Now we've done Bishop Briggs before on this channel. I've never done this one, Jekyll and Hyde. Um, but uh, this is a request from Tom Bredesen. Thank you very much. Right now we have um, the battle between uh, Michael Rater and Tom Bredesen, and they've all been tip top, tip top, tip top pieces, man. So uh, this one, Jekyll and Hyde. Never heard of this one. I have done Bishop Briggs before. I've just I've, I've never done this one. So thanks for that, Tom. Uh, really appreciate the skip the line reaction once again. Um, it seems like a lot of you guys um, really took well to that $9 um, um, special. And uh, for that, I'll, I'll probably run it again uh, next week if you guys are keen. Um, just so that, so, so say thank you. I mean, not to push it back to its original price. If you guys really enjoyed it, I'll, 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 I'll leave it at that. And uh, I've got the time to do them. So let's rock and roll. If anybody wants to join the sphere, links in the description. You know the whole spiel. Go take a look for yourselves, man. Bishop Briggs, Jekyll and Hart. Let's see what you've got. Let's go. Burn in the dark of love. Face in the winds of fate. Storms brewing up above. I was breaking, I was breaking hey. Just to raise you up From the grave of your mistakes Pleasure is a kind of pain Have hey. I had enough? Cause Ooh, I, I like that line, pleasure is a kind of pain, 100% Because a lot of the times when you're in pursuit of pleasure and decadences And you sort of follow your temptations um, there's always that nagging feeling at the back of, you know, that nagging voice at the back of your head when you know, you know, this isn't right. You know that it brings you joy, but what's the net, what's the net good, um, uh, you know, or, or the net positive result of this type of, of thing? You know what I mean? So you kind of be like, I shouldn't be doing this. I shouldn't really be wasting my time with this. So it's, it's, it's painful. It's painful sometimes when you're there and you know you should be doing something else. You know you should be doing something more productive. You know you should be doing something that would further your life and your existence, but you're not because you're in pursuit of this um, sort of shallow, uh, um, shallow sense of, of pleasure. Um, that that is. Uh, um, painful and you know it is kind of pain have i had enough because i keep wrestling with snakes hey. sick of all the slippery stuff are you hey. jekyll and hiding me silently i can't see in the dark are you jekyll or hide this time hey. where's my mind i can't sleep in the dark hey. jekyll and hiding me did I make it up? I was yesterday's regret, but today I woke up in your bed. Have hey. I had enough? Yeah, I was yesterday's regret, but today I woke up in your bed. Oh, that's a hard thing to live with. Oh, have I had enough? Sick of all the slippery, slippery stuff. Cherry on your lips, killing me with every kiss. Are you hey. Jekyll and Hyde in me? Silently, I can't see in the dark. Are you hey. Jekyll or Hyde this time? Where's my mind? I can't sleep in the dark. See, this over here, that chorus over there is actually completely telling to the entire song. So I kind of feel like she's speaking to herself over here and she's talking about a split personality to a certain degree. Maybe not in the true psychological, diagnosable split personality sense, but the psychological aspect of you having a sort of dark, a darker and lighter side or a, 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 a more sort of like... Uh, good and evil side and that's what she's playing into this over here which is like the Jekyll and Hyde right when you know she says he's like Jekyll and Hyde when you're referring to somebody he's like he's like Jekyll and Hyde it's like you know you, you, you like you he's a good person today and tomorrow is just the complete opposite of that right um and it's almost like she's telling herself it's like are you Jekyll and Hyde-ing me like what is my mind gonna be 
today because now I don't really know am I going to swing this way am I going to swing that way am I going to experience the real true pain or am I going to try in in uh, rather to escape that and then go and do these pleasurable stuff which is painful too right because I know I should probably be tackling this but that scares me too much right that's why I can't sleep in the dark that's why I can't see in the dark right i can't sleep in the dark because the darkness is going to reveal too much to me um so let, let's sort of just give up this and just sort of turn towards the vices right which is a bit of a distraction uh kind of like sort of takes your mind off of this but this still just sits there and it keeps yearning at you and it's only a matter of time before it all comes back so even through my pleasure i'm still experiencing pain because i know what i should be doing i know what i should be tackling i know what my responsibility to myself is but i don't quite know how i'm going to wake up today what side of me am i going to be can i control this do i have the discipline it's a very cool, very, very cool uh, um, song. This. I, I really like the way um, she's playing with that in the chorus. Very clever. Where's my mind? I can't sleep in the dark. Now, she could be speaking about herself, or now that I'm thinking about it, when she actually said all of that, baby, you're driving me insane. She could be speaking about somebody else. Maybe she's speaking about um, a partner that she's with. Um, that seems to be sort of very all over the show. This seems to be sort of be playing on both sides of the fence. And she can't really um, sort of put, a, put a, 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 a definitive pin into what this relationship is about because this person just keeps flip-flopping so she could be talking about somebody like that and say oh, you Jekyll and hiding me over here I'm not entirely sure if she's playing into the actual novel itself if I'm correct in saying it I think it was a British novel I can't I don't know who um I can't I can't I don't know who the author is essentially but I think I think it was um I didn't read the novel myself I've just I've read excerpts about it um I think the novel's about, I think it's about uh, an investigator of sorts. I'm not entirely sure who it was. It's like an investigator and a criminal of sorts. I'm not entirely sure. I think, I don't know if it was like a partnership between them or whatever else. All I know is obviously the main basic crux of it, which is like an investigator and a criminal who possibly work together to solve mysteries and stuff like that. But in the other sense of Jekyll and Hyde is obviously there's playing into the good and bad, the investigator being the good, the criminal being the bad, all right? And then so them sort of working together or them working um, consistently at opposition to each other, right? And then really getting nowhere. I'm not entirely sure if that's the, uh, the, the plot of the book itself, um, but that's the notion I kind of feel over here. So it could be somebody else. It could be somebody else over here where she's trying to be like, okay, well, are you Jekyll and Hardy me? Because I kind of feel like you're a bit all over the show. Today you're good, tomorrow you're bad, you know what I mean? So she could be referring to somebody else or she could be referring to herself. Uh, I think the only reason I say that is because of how many songs we've listened to lately, which people just speak about their own internal voices and how they're always playing up against each other. So I think that might just be like an automatic autopilot response of mine to sort of go to there. It could just be about somebody that she's in a relationship with. Let's go. You drive me insane. Are you Jekyll and Hyde in me? Silently, I can't see in the dark. Are you Jekyll or Hyde this time? Where's my mind? I can't sleep in the dark. Jekyll and Hyde.
really like the instrumentation in this particular song. I think it's it's really cool because I think it's it's uh, it's meant to feel a bit chaotic um, because that's how your mind is. I'm gonna go back to. <laughs> It's funny enough because afterwards it's like she referred back to herself. You know, firstly she referred to somebody, baby. Maybe she was referring to herself as baby, right? But it kind of felt like she was talking to somebody else and then she went back into referring it back to herself again. So I'm going to go with that whole, her playing with her own mind, right? The, 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 the psychological aspect of, of playing with the good and evil and uh, um, sort of uh, playing in that realm as we have uh, heard by many artists, right? I like the fact that the song was, um, it had like a dance, a dark feel to it. I love this, the, the, the music video, which also really played well into it with the whole dark feel into it and the eyes everywhere. So it's very introspective, sort of looking at you completely wide open as if awake, uh, um, as in like awake, but sort of like drugged to a certain degree and being forced like the ass just completely wide as if somebody actually opened them um and being forced um to watch the reality of um, um that mindset so beautiful really cool like the fact that it also shaved her head um because that just makes it uh, it makes it feel like it's it's darker it makes it feel rebelish and uh yeah man i like that tom i really really do like that and uh, i love the fact that you're throwing me these that um you have to sort of like dig at and think about so yeah you let me know uh, what you think down below and i'll catch you on the next one man <laughs>